Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. You seem to have a turtle got trapped in a boat. Ah, oh, so. Hello everybody. It's been a little while, um, and, oh, we got boats. Yeah, so this is Spawn, and we haven't come here in a while, because we generally don't need to, but I'm here because, um, I think it's time, I think it's time to say goodbye to this world, which is kind of weird to say, but I think it's true. Um, over 210 episodes in season two which is pretty crazy and um and uh, there's new version of minecraft uh, in fact we're two versions behind uh two major versions behind in minecraft right now and uh there's a lot of new content in the game that i'd like to play with and i don't want to have to go you know twenty thousand blocks that direction to uh to find it so this is i'm gonna do a little world tour and uh capture some of what we've got here what we built and then i'm gonna reset the server and we're gonna start on uh minecraft 1.17.1 uh, i think or dot two depends how far they get and uh just one moment come here kitty <clears throat> Ah, um, so, so there we go. Um, sorry about the sound. My setup is very different from the last, uh, stop it. And I've got kittens. <laughs> I've got cats. We got a bunch of cats in the house here and they, uh, they're nocturnal creatures and they come awake at night and they are trying to drive me nuts. So, um, and it is late at night right now and trying to record while while uh, Chihuahua Power G is is sleeping or, or trying to sleep so so here we go so what a better place to start than here spawn island um, with a little uh, cheapo beam a cheapo uh, beacon and uh, and just flattened out the island, just spammed out a bunch of torches. It was my intention to do something here. But this is all in the spawn protection area, so it's not like anybody could do much here. Um, so I tried to have a boat dispenser. My cheaty 64 boat stacks. And why don't I have milk? I don't know. So, but let's... uh. And I chose the seed because we're in the middle of a big bay here. And there was this island, it was spawned on an island, and it just it seemed to work pretty nicely. And there was a. Uh, ooh. Uh, and we got out here, and there was a good, good assortment of biomes. There were some nice mountains over here, and there was some jungle over here. Uh, which I liked because oddly jungles are kind of rare and if you start poking around random seeds finding jungle nearby is, uh, is a little difficult so come over here and decide this would be kind of our community area um, and decided to sort of uh, build build community stuff over here now, I started laying down some infrastructure immediately, and I had initially looked at this mountain here. And I was like, oh, this would be a good place for a base. And while I came on and I started, as I said, laying down some infrastructure, uh, Risk and C came up and, and laid claim to this mountaintop. Because, of course, it's a... It's a nice looking mountain top. And then he started building all this stuff out over the air, which is a little, a little frustrating. It's a bit of an eyesore, but you know, whatever. Um, as I think I've explained, 
large part of this server is an exercise in um, sort of Zen letting go and understanding other people are going to do things. And sometimes it doesn't quite match with what I was planning on doing. So that's fine. So Chris gets, he built this and he built a little, built his base. Um, and oh, hello. And obviously he did not light it up enough. So we have uh, beasties spawning inside here. Um, Oh yeah, it's probably, he's got a sheep. Um, so lots of stuff unorganized, just kind of all over the place. And yeah, so there we go. And then he's sort of building roller coaster type stuff. And uh, trees hanging out over, you know, over everywhere. Um, waterfalls going down to the lake, which are kind of cool. Um, and that's water. Whoa, that's not so, that's kind of dangerous. Uh, water to feed farms that aren't terribly getting used. Um, but yeah, he's got a good view of the spawn area. And he's got a good view of my base, which, uh, I'll probably get to my base in part two. Because I don't want these episodes to be too terribly long. So let's uh, go take a look down here. So we built a little spawn area. And immediately put up some, uh, some community stuff. Um, initially, the initial community thing was this entrance to the mine shaft here. Um, and to be honest with you, the main reason I put the mine shaft this way... And heading that way is because I wanted it to go away from my base because I wanted to be able to set up my own strip mining um, going from there out that way. That was the plan. Um, and for the most part, it has worked. Uh, but then we've, we've sort of built up a few things here. Oh, there's a, there's a bee up there. Oh, that's right. I, I, I had some bees breeding down here. Uh, so we built built a few things here. This is the uh, portal that goes into the nether hub. This is kind of the main spoke of the nether hub. And we will spend some time in the nether for sure. And um, BexFX built a beautiful post office here. And you can come here. Oh, look, my light is on, so I have some mail. Somebody left me some poisonous potatoes. Um, so here's you know, all the people that sort of have been playing on uh, the server. They've got mailboxes. Uh, there is or should be. Oh, there's here's our mail, our postmaster general. Um, there's another bee hanging out over here. Anyway, beautiful post office. And these lights are hooked up to the things here. So if I go put these potatoes back in the... In there. Now the lights flash out here to let you know that there's mail. And then the light over the mailbox lights up. It's pretty clever. Not even sure how he did it, but that's how it works. So, uh, and then we also built this little welcome, welcome hut. Sort of a visitor center. And the idea here was to give people uh, space. Where they can just come in and if they needed to and they do before they have a base they can they can hang out here they can sleep they can store some stuff and then we got some basic supplies for people to uh to get started so they don't have to start grinding immediately to get to get stuff and then they can come in here and they have a bed and they have a crafting table and they have a, a chest for some storage uh so um so that one's kind of occupied. And then we also put up this uh, nice map showing Spawn Island there and the community area there um, with that is Spawn, right? Yeah. Uh, so this probably whoops, could use some, some updating. And it's starting to get dark. Uh, this area is pretty well lit up, so not, not really an issue. Uh, I built, and then we have a few people building, 
building their bases around here. Um, Marax has his little tower here, which is pretty cool. Uh, we got some horses, burrows. Um, so this is Marax's building, and we had um, we got up here. We got that Slayer. I think built this house. Whoa, what was that? Um, Netslayer built this place? Yep. Oh, I left him some stuff. He hasn't been on much. Nobody really has. It's part of why I want to reset it. We might get some more uh, people playing. Supply food there. Um, so then we built some community farm stuff. Or Netslayer was building this, so we got animals and wheat and stuff, which is cool. Uh, and then that's Barb makes things place. Um, but then we have some other miscellaneous things. So I think Barb, yeah, Barb set up a glass shop. Concrete, glass, and... Uh, Set up an area down here where you could lay down concrete plow to powder and flood it. So that's cool. Um, and yeah, we'll talk about that in a sec. And then crash space. Most of the people playing on the server are members of crash space, hacker space I belong to that I've talked about. Hi, this is Sparkles. Um, which is the Crash Space mascot. Sparkles is a soldering unicorn. This is the closet. It's got a map in it. And then this is this is laid out pretty similar. This is bathroom. Um, bathroom over here. This is laid out pretty well to the way Crash Space is. Um, in as much as you can, because of course, every wall within uh, Minecraft is at least is a meter thick. <laughs> uh, and then this is just miscellaneous junk. This is the shower, because that's kind of what ends up happening at Crash Space. We have storage uh, lockers. Um, I have a locker that is about in that position. Then we have some a refrigerator and. Uh, storage um chemical storage and then we have a uh, library nope library is over here library the library is where the 3d printers live and there's a mannequin in there so people kind of laid it out we have sewing machines and workbenches and then uh, we have shops so this is kind of shop one we have uh, electronics stuff here and we have drawers that came from a when Radio Shack closed down, we, we collected. Oh. Um, oh, geez. Um, okay, I can take this guy. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is kind of the electronic shop and there's a laser cutter that lives here. And then this is the metal shop and we have like a CNC mill and, and a drill press and a lathe. And then out here we have a, a bike shed and that's where there's woodworking stuff. And we have, uh, we put in like LED overhead lighting that kind of looks like this. Um, and then we have storage. So yeah, that's, uh, that's all good. Um, and then the important thing if I can remember how to get up there, I may just have to fly up. Oh, we have a little free library out front, which is what that is, which I think is awesome. Oh, there's a ladder here. Um, we have rolls of solar panels on the roof. It's a long story. So that's, that's uh, this is crash space and uh, then some other stuff we have. 
Oh, 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 wow. Uh, I built a little library and I wanted to build it to look like a, a bookshelf block. I think I did a nice job here. I think, I think this is pretty cool. But, um, and in here we just wanted to do enchanting stuff. So we have a couple enchanting setups, full enchanting setups. I got setups with some lapis and some books so that people could come in here and use up their thing. We have a librarian. Um, and uh, just collected a lot of books of different things that people might be able to use. So that's, I think that was a nice little touch. And BexFX built a little supply shop with miscellaneous stuff. Um, you know, horse armor, <laughs> saddles, you know, enchanted bows, cactus, things like that. So that's good. And then, uh, oh, and then this was one of the early ones. VexFX built this. It is a tree farm. So you can come out here, grab supplies, um, saplings, plant them along here, and then turn on the thing, and then it'll bone meal. These dispensers will bone meal the saplings, and you can come in and chop it down. So that's a way of being able to get wood and tree type stuff early game and then i built a a, a a potion shop i really like this building it's designed obviously to look like a bottle water bottle and i just started putting in you know different potions and potion supplies and huh it's a little weird there's no brewing stand in here there should be a brewing stand okay anyway so that was uh that was weird so anyway this is this is the community area and so let's uh so this oh this is VexFX's castle. It's very impressive. We will go in there next. But first, we have to talk about this. Um, and we'll go into Barb's place as well. So, after laying claim to the best mountain in the game, Wisconsi decided he also wanted a little space here. So he started building right in the shadow of Vex, VexFX's castle and did some, you know, weird things. Oops. Giant mushroom block, little barn for animals and stuff, and little castle-like structure. with, I don't know if I know what's down here. Oh. Um, that's right, he tried to dig a tunnel that was really, really low. Wasn't super deep. Oh. And, Huh. You know, I don't think I've I've uh, spent too much time exploring around this area here. <laughs> and he dug a big pit. Uh, let's see if I can get easily into the pit. Lots of effort digging stuff out here. So he dug a big pit and um, and yeah, and uh, someone I don't know if it was him put like a bunch of blue wool here, 
And the idea was there's a little platform at the top of the the mushroom tower there. Uh, and it was designed to look like water from all the way up here. Um, well, okay. So, oh, and of course, from here with the distance fog, you can't even really see that there's water there. Anyway, so it was designed to look like water and they encourage you to jump thinking you could survive the fall and then you splat. Kind of a cruel joke, but. So, VaxFX built this wonderful, huge, gargantuan base. It's a castle. And it's just huge on the inside. He built this big fireplace and the, uh, the stairways go up and then he's got a big tower. He's got a library here. And it's just lots and lots of detail uh, throughout. And that's the roof. Uh, but then he's also got this back area, which is like an atrium. He's got a little landscape going on back here. And this is where his portal is. Little statues. It's just an impressive amount of work went into this. Um, little pond area here. Very nicely done. And then out the back. Uh, on this side. Built a little pirate cove, which is kind of cool. And a uh, pirate ship that got struck by lightning and kind of burned, largely burned down and had to be rebuilt, which is tragic. And it's got villagers on here as crew, which is kind of cool. And there's a cold. And yeah, a lot of cool detail. And then over there is a... entrance down here and this a giant dragon guarding its treasure this is pretty cool lots of lots of valuable blocks here this I think was barb makes things built this it's pretty cool ah it really built before a lot of the aquatic features came out. So navigating around is a little different. Uh, and then the front of Vex's place, he built these two giant statues. It's pretty cool. And lots of farms. He's got tree farms and villagers and automated villager farming. And, um, and he did this as a tripwire here, right? And it should put on a fireworks show. It's pretty cool. He's got a little machine down below where you can load it up and sort of randomizes the effect, which is pretty sweet. So that is the... Uh, that is... Really, the Vex's place. Barb makes things. Has her house here. Glass house. Uh, this is her portal. And then down below, oh, and the doctor's been here. Um, <clears throat> and then if I can remember how to get down below. Oh, it's right here. Using a lot of vines as ladders here. And 
this is super disconcerting because she's got this whole area down below with trees and a little forest area and this black glass. So you kind of feel like you're walking out onto nothing. Um, so this is this is her place. Um, and then down below. Hi, doggy. Got this. whole area that's been very nicely decorated and I get lost in here and yeah black black walls so it's you feel like you're sort of a landscape all on its own and then there's more stuff here so there's uh, <clears throat> down to her beacon and there I think there's mining down here and there's other other stuff that's right she's set up some farm stuff down here um, oh that's an interesting and very expensive approach okay so anyway that is terracotta interesting so that is uh, most of that stuff there's let me get back up above and we will go look at air Hulk's place which is right next door all right so barb has some some farms here this is eric Hulk's area building houses and some really nice looking houses um, and horses and farming area and ooh, melons and melons and there's a house over there let's go take a look at that House up on the hill right next to the whole jungle area nice and then down along this path let's get some altitude here so there's a path that leads from the from the community area down out over this way past Vex's place and this year was this metals I think it is wait let's see whose it is broken door no this is no that's metals there this is Lorax's tower I'm confused. I actually don't remember. And I need a bed. Because uh, it gets a little bit dangerous from here on out. So you got this area lit up pretty well, but um, the rest of this, not so much. Uh, so metals placed there. Oh, there's, okay. The uh, there's the little center here, the, the LGB. TQ center and there are beds here. Pretty sure. There's a horse. There's a bed here. We'll sleep here. Okay. Thank you. So this is meant to be just kind of a rest spot where anybody could come in and sleep. And out over this way. Um, we have a large desert area and I, I started flattening this out because I just, I thought I was going to put a build out here and it did not because this area is way too small for what I wanted. Uh, so we built a few things, built an iron farm that no longer works. Um, fortunately iron farms are much, much cheaper now. Ow. Uh, they're much, much cheaper now. 
Um, so we'll, I'll be building one of those pretty quickly and it won't look anything like this because you don't need the iron farms to look like this anymore. Um, and, but we'd spend a lot of time AFK out here to try and get iron. And let's see what we got at the moment. Yeah, not a hole. Because it said it's broken, it doesn't work. There are some blocks of iron there, but uh, there was growing some trees out here. Uh, the giant spruce trees, because that's very handy. FXFX built a record farm, which is pretty cool. And he also built the, the building to look like record player, which I think is great. This is complicated and I don't think it works anymore, but he sort of captured some, it's not just a record farm, it's a mob farm in general, but, and then built a thing to filter out some skeletons and creepers and try to trap them in here so the skeletons will shoot at the creepers and uh, get records, which it worked. Um, and then at the same time, he also built a general purpose mob farm which is destroying the mob cap from the looks of it. Let's see what we got here. Uh, so, obviously, the mob farm is still working just fine. And then all this stuff gets filtered all, all the way over here into an item filter. So you can get all kinds of good stuff. So if you need bones, we got bones. Anyway, so that's uh, this is a cool little thing. And go up, get back out of here. And next door, we built a little flower shop, our little flower farm, which you saw because it looks like a flower. So no shortage of good infrastructure, and you've got all the records here. Uh, no shortage of infrastructure. Here's the flower farm. Not a whole lot to this. It's a little bow meal thing, and you just you can select here which of the uh, the flowers you want. You turn on and bow meals that flower, and then you pick up your uh, the output here. Just a cute little thing. And then Eric Holt built a little Viking ship, which is pretty cool. What's going on? What? Um. I didn't think we had the Wandering Trader in this. Oh no, we that's right. He was introduced in this version. Okay. Ah, so you can get bought the puzzle. Hi, nice to meet you. So anyway, that's this area. And I'm gonna wrap things up here. Um by going out past this, so if you go down the road past this area, you come out to an amusement park area that uh Barb makes things in Air Colk, I think, sort of built. Uh, there's some cool stuff out here. Another portal. Um, Merry-go-round, which is nice. And a uh, roller coaster ride. This was this was intended to be like a little racetrack that you could race on horses. Um, that's like a target. Not quite sure what the plan was there. And this was going to be a bouncy house. And this tree, which is actually pretty cool. And it's all slide blocks on the inside. So you can go down. Woo! Bong! Bong! And just keep falling down. Wow! That is ridiculously fun. Uh, and then over here, you can see there's a couple beacons, which sort of suggests that there's something down below. And there is. Um, so the roller coaster, the entrance, the gumball machine there takes you down below. And then this entrance here is 
the entrance into the downstairs area. And is this one? Yeah. And from here. And using the, the water mechanics. Let's see here. Where, where's the exit going to be? There we go. Whoa. Oh, how do I? There we go. Nice. Um, so this bar makes things was digging out this area, was going to build a few things. One useful thing is this giant slime farm, which is nice. And it collects all of its drops over here. Um, so there's plenty of, plenty of slime balls. Plenty of slime balls. It's a pretty good, uh, little slime farm here. And I think there were other plans, but um, there are other other building areas as well. And I think it was more just digging out a big area. And there's other big areas to be dug out elsewhere as well. So anyway, that's uh, that's sort of the the main central area. Uh, next time, we'll go to my base. And I'll give you the tour of the base. So that's uh, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Wait, there's a portal down here, right? I would hope so. Maybe not. Okay. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Oops. And uh, see you next time when we go look at... Uh, go give you the tour of my base and uh, there we go thanks and I'll see you next time bye